This is John Hansen, Natural Mr. Olympia, three-time Natural Mr. Universe at the Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa, Florida for CriticalBench.com training arms today. I'm going to start off with the tricep pushdown for triceps. This is a good exercise to warm up the elbows. And I, use, I prefer using a straight bar instead of a curl, curved bar or a rope. Uh, this helps get the um, upper head of the tricep, the belly of the tricep. I just keep the elbows in real close, get a real good, extent, real good stretch, and then a real good extension on the bottom, contracting the triceps on the bottom. All right, continuing on with my arm workout, I'm gonna do biceps now. I always like to start off with a dumbbell movement. It gives a little more freedom to the shoulders and the elbows, and it warms up the arms really well. I like doing incline curls as a mass builder. I put the bench at a very high incline, so it's almost straight up. I stand up, I don't sit down, and I stand up and I lean against the bench, keep the elbows back, my chest held high, my shoulders back, try to get a full extension, and contract all the way up. I bring the arms straight forward. I don't bring them out to the side. I bring them straight forward so it's a more of a mass builder hitting the belly of the muscle. All right, a great mass builder for the biceps is the standard barbell curl. I like to use a straight bar, keep my hands pretty close, right outside my thighs, my elbows in tight, keep the chest up, the shoulders back, and that helps keep the elbows back. When the elbows start to move forward, the shoulders engage instead of the biceps. So by keeping the chest up, sort of expanded, back arched, I keep my, shoulder, my elbows back by my waist, and that puts all the stress on the biceps. Another great exercise for the triceps is a compound movement. It's the parallel bar dips. I like grabbing the bars where they're a little bit more narrow instead of wide. I keep the elbows in really close to my body. I stay straight up, keeping all the stress on the triceps. What I'm really aiming for is to go as good, low as I can, but really get that contraction on top because that's where the triceps are gonna work hardest. From the middle part of the movement all the way to the top. And again, keep the upper body straight, keep the elbows back, and that'll put the stress on the triceps instead of the chest. All right, my next exercise for the triceps is gonna be the lying tricep extension, also called the skull crushers. This is a great exercise for the long head of the triceps. I'm gonna keep my elbows in close, 
get a really good stretch on the bottom and then all the way up on the top. Of course, I like using a cambered bar instead of a straight bar. It puts less stress on the wrist. I usually finish off my bicep workout with alternate dumbbell curls. This is a great exercise not only for the forearms, but the lower bicep and the brachialis muscle, which lies between the bicep and the tricep. Very noticeable on any back double bicep poses. So I like to do it, instead of bringing the arms straight up, I like to bring it across my body. So going from the right side to the left shoulder, and then from the left side to the right shoulder. And I alternate them. Hey, thanks, John. That was awesome exercise advice. I hope you guys can apply that to your training. Obviously, John knows what he's doing around the, around the gym. Now, if you like that, you're going to love this. Free bodybuilding videos for you so you can see how the old school guys did it, right? Guys like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Larry Scott, Vince Gironda, uh, Charles Glass, you know, all these guys, old school guys that had very, very impressive, impressive physiques doing exercises that you don't really see anymore in the gym. Okay, so if you click over here, you can have access to some of these really cool videos demonstrating some of these old school exercises. But if you're on a mobile device, you're not gonna be able to click that link. So what you wanna do is you wanna look underneath this video and hit that little arrow. It's gonna open up the description area and right at the very top is a criticalbench.com slash bodybuilding link. That link right there you wanna click, it'll give you access to those really cool old school legendary bodybuilding videos, okay? Now, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we're doing a new video every single day and we do all things strength and health. So I'm sure, you know, something that we're doing uh, every week is gonna interest you. And be sure to leave comments. Let us know what type of videos you wanna see us do more of. Tell us, uh, you know, if, if you don't agree with us on something, tell us what you like, tell us what you hate. Okay, we, I'm in there all the time interacting and I, I really enjoy doing it. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you again real soon.